Hello friends, I'm finally done with the moving stuff. Now it's just settling in so my stress can begin to get lifted and I can continue to plant style my home. You can see behind me I have this trellis sitting up on this thingy right here. The, I don't know what to call it, a little stand thingy. So I am going to hammer that into the wall. I just need to use nails to have the trellis sit on the nails like a picture would sit on nails because it's really not very heavy at all and it's got the whole like grid pattern so that checks out so i just have to find the hammer i have no idea where i put the hammer but it's here somewhere okay i found the hammer it was exactly where it should have been i am just not very bright right now we're not using my brain correctly and i have these nails they're just some white nails because they're going to blend into the wall and blend in with the trellis and i'm going to hammer them up there all right we have the trellis up Still a complete mess. My desk area I've not touched at all. I have my YouTube plaque in that giant bag there, which I would like to hang up here. I went to get a frame the other day, and the person told me it would cost $450. I think he was trying to rip me off, because I was like, oh my god, this is my first time at a frame store. I have no idea what I'm doing. You tell me, should it cost $450 to get my YouTube plaque framed? I don't think so. And it doesn't need to be framed. It's just the wall is so big. I think it would look better framed in this home. Anyway, that's my rough plan for this desk area. Trellis, desk, plaque up there. I'm gonna hang the Soltec Solutions aspect light. I have it right here with like the, the Pinocchio thingy. I don't know what to call this. I just know that's what, the, what it's called. Um, and I'm gonna put that above. So I'm gonna have a little section right here. There's so much space right here. I like to do like yoga sometimes. So this will be my, my little yoga area, free space, all purpose area, dance studio. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, we're starting to get set up. I showed you guys this last time. I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do there. And I hung this chalice over here. I put this plant on the moss pole. I don't really know. If I'm feeling this, I definitely hung the trellis. It's, this, is, this trellis is impossible to hang. It's like an accordion trellis. So it stays open. My friend came over last night and helped me out. I think it's like one degree off and it's just really kind of bothering me. But I don't know if I'm obsessed with it centered. I'm like, maybe I wanna push it all the way over and have it like against this thing right here. Um, I did drill it into the wall, but I didn't use like anchors or anything so I could easily spackle over it if I'm not happy with the way it looks. But I'm gonna try to set it, let it settle in right now. Uh, this is obviously all disheveled because it's been wrapped around on the floor and now it's trying to you know, have its leaves work its way toward the light. So I'm gonna give that some time to settle in too. Obviously same with the plant on the trellis. It's been sitting in a box, so its leaves need to uh, get used to the situation. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do down there. I have this philodendron jerry horn and I have the other pieces of it because I propagated it. Uh, when I moved on the floor here. So I think I'm gonna pop them up in one pot to her planter and have them here and then put something else in the center. And I have to figure out what I'm going to put on this trellis right here. I have this box still. Oh, I gotta clean off some of these yellow leaves, of course, and I just watered them today, but just a box of these long vining plants that I can start to put on it. But I, I don't know, I feel like the that red emerald was on this trellis before and that was really making it pop. So now I'm just kind of thinking about how I want to do it, how I want to execute this, but now I'm really happy that I have all of this space for like eight more plants right here and I can get a couple more of them off the floor. Okay, so it did involve a quick trip to the hardware store because I was having some issues like I was having before with getting anchors in the wall, but I think I got the right anchor for this up here. Now I have this, let me turn around, this sexy setup right here with my trellis and the Soltec Solutions aspect light up there. But yeah, I'm excited to have this area looking a little bit better just because there is so much space on the floor here. Uh, yeah, I'm happy that this is looking a little bit more full and this wall is just so empty. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the anchors that I just got to hang that shelf that's sitting next to the rug, the picture ledge, but I think they might work out for this shelf right here. So I think I might be able to go ahead and hang that. I also just got inspired to add to this little selection here and put up my fern leaf cactus up in this basket. I used to have this above the arch mirror in my old living room with the pothos in it, but right now I have the pothos 
above my bed on like the wall that doesn't go all the way up and I think this looks so good it needed a good drink so it's a little dehydrated right now because I just grabbed it from my old apartment and had been sitting there getting neglected for like two weeks so it needs to recover but uh, I feel really confident that's gonna look pretty I mean, I mean it already looks amazing but I think it's gonna look even better as it gets comfortable with its space and even starts growing and I also just found this hello I found this uh, little ceramic thing it looks like somebody made it in like a pottery class the way it's signed on the back I don't feel like taking it off the wall but it's very well done and it just goes on the wall it couldn't hold a pot it's like not fixed to the wall it's just sitting on a nail uh, but I put this Talanzia Zero Graphica on it. I had it just realized it wasn't meaning to be sitting inside here. All the air plants aren't going to live here. They're just placed on here. That doesn't look bad right there. But I want to get them on their mounts, but I just haven't put the mounts up yet. And I just had this sitting in here. So this macrame can go away or be used for another plant. And now this looks amazing. However, I think this Talanzia might need a little bit more light. So maybe I'll be on the lookout for a nice larger but greener Talanzia that would look really nice sitting up here and then I can get the Zero Graphica situated closer to the light where I think it's going to be a lot happier. But yeah, I'm kind of stalling on putting plants up on this trellis because I don't really know what I want to put up. The trellises are so dynamic once they've been able to settle in, but even just the Philodendron Red Emerald, which I'm... I think I want to move the trellis up like a foot. I don't think I'm really happy with the way it is and that'll give me a chance to straighten it out. But yeah, I think it needs to go up a little bit higher. I think I'm just not thrilled. It used to go all the way up to the ceiling in the old place and I'm just not obsessed with it not going up all the way to the ceiling, but it can't go all the way up to the ceiling because I can't reach and it's just not gonna work that way. But I think if it's just up one full foot, like closer to where the pipe is, I think it would look so much better. So I think, I'm going to go in that direction, but I'm going to need help with that because, like I said, I cannot deal with that trellis on my own. But what I was just saying, and I totally got sidetracked, is that even just putting this Philodendron Red Emerald on the trellis, which was a beast in the old apartment, it still just looks like nothing right now because it's just settling in. It's been sitting in the box for a while. So, yeah, it's not looking as majestic as it once was but that's what i need to keep reminding myself is that i'm going to set up these trellises and it's going to look like when you set up a plant on a moss pole like this one right here like i was talking about earlier that still needs to settle into its surroundings and it's going to look really gangly and not the best at first and that's how the trellises are going to look and they might look like that for a couple months as they let things settle in but once things start growing and start to fill out they always look incredible I set up the trellis with a bunch of philodendrons. It is not looking like it used to, but like I said, it's going to grow into itself. This grow light from Soltech Solutions is going to encourage these to grow as if they are receiving natural light, even though the skylight's up there and the windows are over there. Still a lot of natural light going on in my home, but it's just nice to supplement some light because this over here would definitely be too dark for these philodendrons without it. Um, the ones that are already climbing are my philodendron Brawl Marks Fantasy, my philodendron Holtonianum. I need to pull off this yellow leaf, but like I mentioned, I believe in my last video, with the Monstera, with the disgusting looking leaf that I'm just kind of leaving the yellow leaves on right now because these plants are stressed and it gives them like an outlet to put their bad stress that they are dealing with. And just a couple other random ones like this Aglaonema down here and the Syngonium, which looks like it's just... <sighs> I left things in the box for too long. It's my mistake. Also, these were all left at the old apartment for literally two weeks and I think I might have given them a tiny bit of water once when I realized that everything was suffering, but now they're finally going to get the attention that they deserve. And I also just did this in the bedroom. I was talking about that bracket. So why do I keep doing this? Let me turn it around. Lighting is not any better on this side, but the I hung this bracket up there and I'm gonna hang the Discidia on it that I have. And I put the blinds down just to make sure that it'll still work when they go up and down, and it does. So let me put these blinds up, and then I'll hang up the Discidia, put the plants back on the windowsill, and we can see how it's looking. It looks so good. I'm so happy to finally have a plant hanging in my home. These brackets really saved me in the last place because I couldn't hang stuff from the ceiling. And obviously, I don't think I can hang stuff from the ceiling, so I'm trying to work with what I have. I have those plans for the living room window, but... 
uh, this bracket, and I have a couple more of these brackets, but these might really come in handy as long as I can mount them correctly. The only reason I felt fine with this is because this is wood right here. So I used wood screws and, you know, did the damn thing. So this is where we're at. It looks great with the plants. If I step back, of course, lighting's gonna be doing its thing. But yeah, this isn't looking too bad at all. Now I'm looking at this up here and I'm like, what can I do there? I have plans, did I say already? I'm gonna put something up here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these. I have these little wood pieces, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them in my bedroom because I already have the ferns above the bed and they're like a multi-piece thing. So I'm not sure if I want any more multi-piece things in here. I don't know why, it just makes me feel not good. Maybe it's fine though, I should try it. But I, I wanna put my chair, I have a chair over my living room, you know, the one that's more decorative that I keep the blanket on that was next to the bar area. I think I wanna put it here and then I wanna get um, another armchair. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter. This isn't about plants. Let's get back to the plants. I'm happy with how things are shaping up so far. Obviously these can all be moved around, but it's feeling just so much less cluttered than the last space. I think that's the most important thing. Even with these shelves, like you can see the light just shows through them so much more, except on that top one that I said I need to replace. I still have to do that, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way that things are looking. Still have a lot more to accomplish. This video is not done yet. But we've gotten a lot done. I'm so happy. I'm starting to feel the stress melt away now that I'm done with the old apartment and I'm just doing the final settlement in this place. We're almost there. And once I can see this place clean for the first time while I'm settled in, I think that's when my stress will finally be at like its, its end. But there's still some more work to do until then. I really wanna get that picture ledge shelf up, but. I think I'm gonna have to find something a little bit more heavy duty than what I'm using to hang the Soltech Solutions Aspect Light and what I'm going to use to hang the Urban Outfitter shelf. So I think I wanna hang the Urban Outfitter shelf. I think I need somebody else here to hold it up for me so I can see how it looks, so I can make sure I'm putting it in the right spot. So probably not a task for today. I think I'm done with plant tasks for today. It's Friday, it's almost 5 p.m. It's time to make a cocktail. So I'll handle some more stuff this weekend or early next week. So here's the tea. It's been about a week since my last check-in because I got really sick. It wasn't COVID, but it was something, I, I felt like I had like the flu. I couldn't lift my head off the pillow. One of those kind of sicknesses. I'm finally back in commission today. I have a lot to do. My apartment's a wreck because not only was I like three quarters of the way done with moving stuff around my apartment, but then I got sick and everything just got destroyed because I couldn't pick up after myself. <laughs> so I have a lot to do today, but I did want to show you before I wrap up today's video, since I am wrapping it up sooner than I would have liked to, but I did accomplish one more thing as you can kind of see right behind me here. So let's once again, turn the camera around. I was able to hang up the shelf from Urban Outfitters. So this is how it's looking with this all together. It looks amazing. It's not my original vision that I had. I think I wanted to put the shelf there and I wanted to hang the bracket here or maybe vice versa uh, with the Cibu Blue Pothos. Cibu Blue, it's so hard to say. It's sitting on the floor here. Still looks fine. Just gotta clean off those couple of yellow leaves, but it, it looks fine, trust. Uh, so I'll figure out somewhere else to hang that. I have all this wall space. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with this wall space. I think that might be my last plan of attack and maybe my last moving vlog next week, just doing the finishing touches because there really is a lot of white space as you can see. But I'm really happy with the way this looks. I might wanna do some switch arounds. I like the way that the Hoya looks, the Hoya Carnosa and then the Ripsalis Awaldiana. I think the Ripsalis could use a fancier planter. I don't love just plain terracotta on this shelf. It doesn't really stand out in the way that the others do. Uh, the pilea on top, it's a little sparse. It also could maybe be a little closer to the window. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll see, but I think I might want something a little bit more fuller up there, but for right now, I just put the pilea up there because uh, it looks fun and I like the planter, but uh, yeah, could use something a little bit more dynamic, but it, it does look fun, but the Hoya, I think is the star of the show. I really love the way it looks and it was growing in similar light conditions in my old space. So I know that's going to do perfectly fine there. But yeah, this is really looking amazing with the, the bar set up underneath it. 
yeah, really coming together. I still want to raise this trellis. I'm not thrilled with it. I'm not unhappy with it at this point. It's been, you know, it's settled in with me, but I would prefer it being higher up. I'm just not in a rush to do that. And I still have to hang like the, the other shelf and I have like a couple other doodads that I would like to hang up on the wall, but I'm going to need help <laughs> from some, not like physical help. I just need some guidance from the hardware store. So that might be one of my tasks that I'm doing today and might just be a part of the next and possibly final moving vlog. So thank you so much for joining me. Like I said, cut it short a little bit more than I would have liked. There's still so much more for me to be doing, but I do really need to take it easy today. Uh, and then I can get back on the saddle and tackle the rest of this home. It's been nearly a month since I've like did the first move in. So I really got to get this done. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's dragging on a long time. I'm not obsessed with that but it is what it is. It's going to get done eventually. And once it gets done, it's just going to feel all the better. So thank you so much for joining me today. Once again, uh, if you don't already, you can follow me on my other socials at Philly Foliage on Instagram and TikTok. And you can follow me on Patreon for even more houseplant content. Thank you again, and I will see you guys next week.